My name is Cheng Bo. I normally live in Hong Kong, but this year I'm here in Berlin because I'm the artist in re residence at the Gropius Bell. Um, I'm not a scientist, I'm an artist. Um, my primary concern these years is the climate crisis and also I would call the, the extinction crisis. I think in order to address these really planetary crises, as artists I have to work with scientists, um, but I also work with um, people in humanities and social science, etc. Because I think it's, you know, in order to address these large uh, issues, it's really something we have to come together from all the disciplines. Here I'm doing two things. Um, every day I spend some time with plants. I do a drawing. So it could be, it could be weeds here on the ground or it could be a tree. Um, because I, 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 I think it's, it's a daily practice. It's, a, it's, a, it's something that I do every day. I think I get into um, the habit of spending time with other species, with other beings, um, often without resorting to language. I think this is very important. So I can really sense the existence, the way of life of other beings. The other thing I do um, in Berlin is to actually to talk to scientists um, because I you know, I'm interested in how scientists study plants, what they have learned about plants. And often, you know, they, they not only study plants, they also study plants and bacteria, uh, plants and fungi, etc. So I'm learning from the scientists. They're, uh, I'm learning from the res their research. I'm in conversation with them to kind of think about how we can see plants differently, how we can understand their existence, not only as biological, but also as political, because we tend to see our life as not only a biological existence, right? We have social life, we have, you know, we, 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 get in, we, get, we fall into love, we build communities, we vote, uh, to, in some places we vote, uh, we govern. We tend not to see plants in that way. So I'm, in these conversations, I'm, trying to learn from the scientists and also develop some ideas how we can also see plants as political existence. I grew up on the edge of Beijing. Right? So, so, on, so I, I live on one street and on this side of the street is the city. And the other side of the street is slow, I mean low mountains. So I used to kind of play in both areas. You know, I, I would go into the city, but I would also go uh, to, the, to the woods. I think that somehow that early experience sort of made me uh, interested in both things. You know, I'm interested in plants, but I'm, I'm also interested in politics. And I always say, because I grew up in Beijing, Beijing is a highly political city. Um, if I get, get into the city, they're full, I mean, it's full of political symbols, uh, kind of like East Berlin. But if I go to the woods, you know, there are these, um, tr you know, old trees, but also um, uh, farming areas and also weeds. So it's a very different um, existence, but it's, you know, it's right next to each other. So I think that that's kind of how I'm doing things now, actually try to link these two sides. Because of the coronavirus, I came a bit later than I was uh, going to. But, you know, given the very short time I've been here, I realized, you know, first of all, it's a very political city, too. Um, the, the political, I mean, the recent political history is depressing, but also fascinating. On the other hand, you know, I'm, I'm standing here, there are lots of trees in the city. It's, the museum is right next to the garden. I, you know, I, I rode um, my bike this morning here through the garden. And it feels like a little forest. Um, you know, it's been there for, my understanding, it's been there for over 100 years. I also go to swim in a small lake close to where I live. So I've learned that um, Berlin is, or used to be, a city with lakes. Um, 
So I'm trying to understand, or I'm trying to sense the politics of the city, the the, the nature in the city, but also the ge you know the, the geological history of the city, um, and then you know there are many universities in Berlin. It, you know the reason I decided to come here do this project to talk to scientists is really because this is it's kind of one of the major research centers in the world. Um, there are many scientists who study uh, plants, fungi, bacteria, as I said. Yes. There are two aspects. So one is we, in our political life, we have always um, used plants. For example, where I live in Hong Kong, the symbol of Hong Kong is the bohemian flower. I always think it's funny because the bohemian flower, the, the, the bohemian plant was an accident and it cannot reproduce on its own so it actually needs humans to uh, populate this plant. So you could say it's a good symbol because it shows our relationship to that particular plant. But in the, as the other aspect I'm trying to develop, develop in my art practice and research is really to see the existence of plants as political. I think many people probably have either read or heard the relationship between trees. So trees actually connect underground. If, if they're in a forest, they connect underground with the, the fungi network. So information is sent between trees. Um, and also nutrition are exchanged between tree roots and the fungi network. We could see this as a biological phenomenon, but we could also see this as community building, right? So you, you, have two, you have two species or two kingdoms where they form relationships. You could call that diplomacy, right? If we treat these two kingdoms as nations. Or we could use other terms. We could call them racial relations, we could call them tribal relations. So if we start to see plants in this light, I think perhaps we can learn from them how they practice politics, whether we can learn to practice politics better. And then the next thing is how do we practice politics together with plants, right? If they already build communities, when we think about building our communities, it shouldn't be just human only. It should be, you know, all existing beings on this planet. So I think that will expand our notion of politics. Yeah. So I think I'm very early in this thinking and uh, practice and research. So I've done some works. Uh, for example, I've done one installation. Um, we replanted a political slogan. Uh, the slogan was socialism good. So in Beijing on October 1st, our national day, we always have large floral designs on Tiananmen Square, the center of the city. In 1991, I was in high school. The design on Tiananmen Square was socialism good. It's a slogan made of flowers. So I, I recreated this installation, but the, the second time is a few years ago. The second time we planted the flowers in the, in the soil. And after the installation was finished, we didn't intervene. So the plants would grow, but also weeds will grow, right? So, you know, when we don't intervene as humans, the diversity will actually increase in certain situations. So we started to grow, and then they interrupted the slogan. So this is one way to suggest that perhaps we should think about how do we incorporate plants when we think about socialism. If we think socialism good, do we also allow weeds to sort of enjoy or participate in this political idea? But this is very early on. I think this is a very early work. I, you know, I'm talking to scientists now to to think about 
um, to really learn how to interpret the behavior, the physiology of plants. So I think pro probably the work, my work will change. I'm not a scientist, so I'm in, in, the, in the event, it will be conversations between me as an artist with um, plant scientists. I, I think the conversation is very important because we have very different approaches. Like I said, every day I spend time with plants, I draw them. Right? Um, for me, it's not doing experiment, it's to be with plants, to really spend time with plants, to, to sense their existence, to really live with them. I think scientists also live with their plants, but they often have very uh, clear hypotheses or sort of uh, quantitative measures. Um, they also perhaps will do some experiments in some control situations. So I think the, the, the relationships are quite different. Um, I think for scientists, they can learn things in a very focused way, in a very targeted way. Uh, in a very short time, they will understand um, very specific behaviors of plants. I think for me, spending time with plants um, is not to understand specific behaviors, but to, to kind of sense their overall existence. So I think these two are quite different, but in, I, I think we can complement each other. That's why I think the conversations will be important. I like some plants perhaps more than other plants, but I, I mean, I like all the, I, I like all living beings. But perhaps, you know, I, I spent more time, I, a few years ago, I started to spend more time with ferns in Taiwan. But I think in Berlin, there are ferns, but they're not so um, abundant. So I'm learning to spend more time with trees. I think there are more trees in the city. Um, actually taller, bigger trees than where I live in Hong Kong. So I'm taking advantage of the time here to spend more time with trees. I'm, you know, I also worked with weeds, I worked with ferns, I haven't really worked with trees. I think for me, I kind of wanted to wait because trees are massive. You know, they, they also live hundreds of years. So it takes probably some preparation from my side to be ready to really spend time with them. Um, but I'm really enjoying the trees in the city, yes. I think it's more like being spend time with plants. Um, spend time with plants and also um, trying to go beyond just see them as food or decoration. Really pay attention to their existence. Um, to their ways of life because I, I think even for many scientists their research is to make plants useful in for medicine, for agriculture, um, for uh, urban ecology. So I'm you know I'm interested in how they can be useful in this political sense, in this way that we could actually live better on the planet. So I think I'm not, I, I'm, mo I'm actually moving away from just looking at individual plants. Um, I'm really interested in relations uh, between plants, between plants and bacteria, between plants and uh, insects, etc and also between plants and us. Um, because it's, it, you know, I, I still use the word species, but perhaps I should stop using it because, you know, species, individuals, these are quite sort of inward looking term, words. I'm interested in relations, in um, cohabitation, in communities, in commoning. So these words are more important. It will be a series of th three conversations in one day. Um, 
So the first conversation will be here at the Grow PS Bao. And we want, and then the second conversation will walk to the tear garden because I think there we will actually be surrounded by plants. Um, and then we'll come back to the Grow PS Bao to have a group discussion. All three conversations will center on this idea of how do we imagine, how do we understand and imagine the politics of plants. Um, I think this is probably a question that not many people have thought about. I think most scientists I'm talking to, they have some inclinations, but I don't think in their research they will frame this as their research question. So I think the conversation really is to start to think about this issue. Um, I think we will talk about specific research that these scientists will, are doing now. You know, for, for example, um, plasticity and adaptation and the relations between plants and bacteria. But I think we will not have a sort of conclusive answer to this question. It's really to start the conversation. Thank you.